Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. This video is brought to you by RV Deep Clean. Over 40 ways to clean and downsize your Revit model all in one place. Get your free copy today by using the link in this video description. Have you ever want to click a single button to clean up all the unplaced rooms, areas, and spaces in your Revit model. Well, I'm glad to tell you the button is here and you will see exactly today how to create and use it yourself. For example, here I have this Revit model and it has about three unplaced rooms, two unplaced spaces, and maybe two unplaced areas. Of course, I can delete them manually, but in a big project, who has time for that? In that case, simply open up Dynamo, run the script, and immediately you can see now, no more unplaced rooms, no more unplaced spaces, and no more unplaced areas. All the items down here have been deleted for me in one click. So I will show you right now how to create this script yourself and run it whenever you want to. If you don't have enough time and just want to run the script, that's good too. Just go down to this video description and use a link there to download this Dynamo script directly. If you are like me and want to build things yourself, that's excellent. Let's get started. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now because we do tutorials like this every single week. Okay, let's begin. We have here a simple Revit model for this test. It has a few rooms in it. Let me turn them on now. So rooms should be on. And you can see there are lots of rooms in here. Now let's try to delete some so we can unplace them. Let's say I want to go for this area right there. Maybe we can delete now these three rooms. And as you can see, this is the familiar Revit warning message that the rooms are deleted from the views, but not from the project. That means one thing, if I go to view now and make a quick room schedule of this, Make sure I add the area field in there and maybe the name just to identify these rooms. I can also sort this table by area. And straight away you can see the three rooms we deleted are now on top and the area for them is reported as not placed. Let's use Dynamo to delete these rooms permanently from your model. So let's do it now. Let's go to manage and then open Dynamo. Here we go. I can now go ahead and set up a new script. And then of course, change the run mode now to manual. So it's more stable and not gonna crash our Revit. Okay, let's start doing some scripting. There are many ways to do this in Revit and Dynamo. My favorite is using a Python node because it's easier to maintain and usually is quicker to run. So let's add the Python node in here. Let's right click and do Python from string. Now, if you have seen some of my previous tutorials, you will know what's happening now. We will set up Dynamo. So it's going to read a text file that contains the Python script. It's going to then feed the text to this Python script node. And when you run the Dynamo script here, it will execute the script in the text file. So let's get the usual setup in place now. I will go for file path. And then go for file from path. This will convert the file path here into a proper file. And we can do read text. Or actually read text from file. So the file object goes into here. That will be converted to a text string and the string will go into Python. So that's the basic setup I usually have for this, this kind of workflow. Let's align them on top nicely. Save it and I'll start developing the Python script text. I will use my favorite text editor, which is Visual Studio Code. And in here, I already have my template. If you are new to all of this, don't worry, because I will include a link in this video description for you to download this finished Dynamo script at the end. So if you don't have much time, just download it and run it on your project. Secondly, if you want to do it this way, but are new to the process, 
there will be a different link in the video description taking you to my basic tutorial on how to set up and use Python scripting for Dynamo. That will show you step by step how to understand and use this template, including all the source code. So you can start from there and then go back to this tutorial to see the particular implementation here for deleting unplaced rooms. For now, let's start coding. I will start by creating an empty list of IDs to be deleted later on. So let's call this ID to delete and we initiate it this way. So list of element ID, make it new. That should do it. Next up, we should collect all the rooms in the model, including the place rooms and the unplaced. So let's start from a for loop for room in a new filtered element collector on the document object, which is the active model we have there in the background. And we can go for of category and say we want a built-in category now, which should be the OSD rooms category. There we go. So now when this for loop runs, it will loop through each room in the model. We now need to determine if that room is unplaced or placed. The first check we can do is the room location point. So let's try if room dot location is not no or none. That means the room is placed and we shouldn't delete it. So we can now continue to the next room to check it. Next step, we also want to exclude rooms that have an area. So let's check the room area as well. Let's do room dot get parameter. We can say this should be a beauty parameter here. And the name is, of course, room underscore area. It's a double value. So let's do as double here to get the actual value of the parameter. And if it's greater than zero, then we say this room is good to remain in the model. We shouldn't delete it. So continue. Then when the loop gets to here, we know this room here is obsolete. So let's do IDs dot add. And let's append to the list there the room ID. With that's done, we have in IDs to delete, ideally in this case, three room IDs. So let's check it out, see if it's working. I will save the script, go back to here and make sure I can browse to the same Python file from this button here. This should be in the, the location I saved it in, in this case, this one. All right, and now we run it. Let's see what's coming out from this. Okay, we have here three items, and these are the rooms that are unplaced. The top three there in the schedule. So it's working. We now just have to go back here and add a way to delete them. Now, to delete the rooms, we need to modify the model. And to modify it, we need to start a transaction. Let's try with with transaction on the document with this name, delete and place rooms as TR. I can then start TR, start the transaction. Use the delete command giving it the list of IDs I want to delete. And when that's done running, I can say commit to actually save changes to the model. We can now save the script again, go to here and see if we can run it. Now pay attention to the top three rows in the schedule. They should disappear if everything works. Let's try it out. Yes, they have. I don't have any unplaced rooms in the file anymore. These three are now gone for good. So that deals with rooms. How about spaces? Let's make a few spaces here so we can test it out. I will go to analyze space and let's drop in here a space right there. We can now make a space schedule to see it in terms of condition. So let's go for spaces. Again, we can use the same kind of setup as for the room. So name and area we can look at. There's only one space now, so that's what I see. Let's try to bring it to the side so we can be in real time with this. Yeah, so this one has an area. It's totally valid. 
But if I now go and select it and delete it, now it's not placed. The good thing about solving this problem is you can use the same kind of coding in this with just some additional lines. In fact, we can actually copy most of this down. So let's do that now. I will copy this to here. And now instead of rooms, let's see if I can rename it. How about we do space here? Oh no, it renames both. So let's undo that. Let's do it manually. So space there. Copy this down to here and to here yep for this one the only difference is instead of always the rooms we should collect always the mep spaces this one there and now we can try it out let's save it back to here run it and yes you can see the space that was unplaced is now gone and that is the element id of it already deleted for you very similar to area too. If I go to make a new area plan here for the entry level. Yep, I want to make area boundaries and I will now drop in here a new area. This big one is fine for now. Let's see the area in a schedule as well. So I'm just checking that the area type here is building common area. So let's go for a schedule of that type. Yep. Building area. Hmm, these are actually different names. Let's try the second one. It will be either work or does it work? Yeah, so that was the right scheme to use. Now we have the area in the schedule. We know that it's there and it's placed how about we go in and place it? So let me click on area here, delete, and now it's unplaced. We can now try to see if we can delete it with Dynamo 2. Yep, so let's bring things to here so you can see it in action. Again, it's very similar to the top section there. I can then just copy this one down. And instead of space, we call this area. Copy it a few times now. Make sure I won't delete the wrong thing. And then change the category to OSD areas. This one. So save script. Back to here. Open Dynamo. Run it. And then it's gone. No more unplaced areas in this project. So as you can see, it's super quick and easy to do. However, if your goal is to reduce the model file size by doing this, it may not be enough because usually rooms and areas and spaces, even though they can be obsolete, deleting them alone won't usually be enough to bring down your model file size significantly. The good news is you can use a plugin that can automatically perform all the available cleaning routines that you can do in Revit. It's called RV Deep Clean. If I now go to Add-ins, I can run it from here, from the RV Boost panel. And as you can see, it has so many options, including those we just looked at with Dynamo just now. These are delete and place rooms, delete and place areas, and delete and place spaces. In addition, it has things like deleting unused room area or space separation lines, deleting unused scope boxes, cleaning up design options, constraints, parameters, and then when you go to views, there are more things that you can clean. Views on sheets or not on sheets. Annotation not visible and so on. If I now go to links, there are many ways there as well to clean up the model in terms of Revit and cat links. And you can choose to remove them or keep them or pin them up to you. So overall, if your end goal is to reduce the model file size and make it faster to work with, either for yourself or the whole team, then it's strongly recommended that you use this plugin to run everything in one go. Let's try it out. If I now choose to do the same thing I did in Dynamo, we can select them like that and say we want to clean the model now based on our selection. It's gonna throw the whole thing. Cleaning everything you can find, you can be free to do other things. And when you return, the model will be super light, super fast to work with compared to before. And it's done it. You get back at the end this report there for seeing things that have been cleaned up from the model. So as you can see, in addition to unplaced areas and rooms and spaces, we also now don't have any obsolete room separation lines, area separation lines, 
Some few pattern elements have been cleaned up because they are not in use. Some schedules are now gone because they are not on sheets, even including those we created temporarily for testing our animal scripts. You don't have to remember to delete them anymore. It's all done for you now. Also, other views were applicable, and you can, of course, export the result to Excel or CSV to check up on them later on. Also, you can try all of this for free. So if you want to get a free copy today of RV Deep Clean, just go back to the video description and use the link there to get your free copy right today. If you only want to clean up unplaced rooms and areas and spaces for now, also go to the video description, but use a different link to download this script here so you can run it yourself without building it from scratch. Okay, enjoy cleaning up your Revit model to make it lighter, faster, and easier to share again. I will now see you in the next video.